capoeira. I don't know if you ever heard about capoeira. Mm -hmm. I did capoeira yeah. when I was start in eleven. Can you explain that a little bit? What that is? Capoeira. It's a it's a Brazilian martial art, martial mm -hmm. arts came from the slaves in Brazil. They create the capoeira. It's just for they can defend themselves and uh, they, for they can escape from the whatever they came from and all. And uh, but they couldn't practice capoeira, right? And whereas they practice capoeira, uh, if I don't know how called the 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 people that uh, that was they were slave for, right? Mm -hmm. If they, people that were in charge wouldn't let them do it, so they would. Yeah, so it exactly. kind of looks a little bit like dance. Yeah, almost. And they they start mm. dancing. They start right. dancing, right? Well, they start uh, practicing uh, punches, kicks. But whenever they they show up because they couldn't practice the martial arts, they start dancing instead that uh, throw uh, a bunch of kicks. Like That's we're not fighting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're not fighting. <laughs> and they have this train with uh, swords and uh, uh, knives. They they do the same thing too. Whenever they have the in the hands, if someone show up to to, mm. uh, to to see them, they they start dancing. No, we're just dancing, mm. and it's super. You can see it's it's, it's uh, the agility the acrobatics, acro yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Acrobatics. Yeah. It's like uh, 15 seconds of that would just blow you right up. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? And, uh, but I, I was really bad on capoeira. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually did decent someone, on- Did on, someone tell you that or- Yeah, you no, I noticed. They, actually, they, <laughs> my, my, my friends that uh, they, after that went to jujitsu with me, they said, no, you, you, weren't, you weren't that bad. I said, no, I was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I had a chance, I was, Try grab my my training partner or my mm -hmm. opponent, right? So I try to get a hold of them. Yeah. And uh, when I was seventeen, I started doing ju judo. Uh, but I, I was already once I started doing judo, I loved the ground game more than the, the we call the niwaza, right? It's the ground game in uh in judo and tachuaza is the the takedowns, right? And uh, I was love to be in, on, on the ground, you know, doing the, the submissions and. Uh, and I saw Jujutsu first time on, uh, on TV, right? Right after I started doing uh, uh, Judo. When I saw this, I said, oh, is this a Judo? You no, know, because they were in the gi, they have the referee. The, and uh, when they would hit the ground, they didn't stop. They kept going, for, what is this, right? Mm -hmm. How they allowed the ref to stay mate, what they stopped to stop, right? Uh -huh. they, they say to stop to, to stand it up. So, no, they kept going on the ground. Man, this is awesome, right? Mm -hmm. I can keep going on this. And... They start looking more, uh, uh, search more, search back then. No, no, but I've tried hear about because for me, jiu jitsu, when I heard what I, was more like a aikido, just self defense stuff, right? Mm. Grab the joints and hold the blocks, but no, wow. no ground game. That's what I remember hearing too about yeah. just a lot of martial arts that it was more defense, you know, yeah. and I think. Yeah. You starting out with lifting, I always find is really interesting because I think a lot of us when we're younger, maybe it's like an insecurity or maybe it's uh, that we just want to be like a little bigger, a little yeah, stronger. But like, why do you want to be bigger and stronger? You probably want to look a little bit more intimidating. You yeah. want to maybe look a little bit more substantial. Maybe you think that the transfer of like you doing some deadlifts and bench press is going to transfer over into you being able to fight. Yeah. And now we know that's just not the case, yeah. especially when it yeah. comes to something like jujitsu. Yeah, right. Pat Roger family, how's it going? Now, sleep is essential for your recovery and your performance, which is why we partnered with eight sleep mattresses. We call them the Tesla of beds. Changes the temperature based off how you sleep. Andrew, how can they get it? Yeah, head over to 8sleep.com slash powerproject, and at checkout, you guys will automatically save $150 off your entire order. Links to them down in the description, as well as the podcast show notes. Yeah, that's how I, when I, when I saw the, the on the sports, the sport chain of show, showing jujitsu in Rio, I mean, this is awesome. It's not nothing that I thought about. I thought it would be just kata stuff, right? Grab the joints and throw. No, they were fighting the ground. And uh, I like the the interviews that I saw talk about jiu-jitsu. And I started searching for jiu-jitsu in, in, in Brazil. I'm from the capital of Brazil. And uh, it, they had a, a class for these old masters, but he was more like the, much of the self-defense aspect too, right? Um, but I was doing school at nighttime. I couldn't train in uh, at the night. That's why they, I, I stuck in jujitsu for another year and a half until I started training jujitsu on the, on the morning with a, a, a friend of my brother who was a blue belt. It was blue belt to Brazil <laughs> back then. Was like a yeah. see a, uh, a, 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 a red belt here right now, uh -huh. right? It's and I started training with him and. 
fall, fall in love first time that I start judo was, I was already hooked up in judo but when I start doing uh, jiu jitsu was like yeah, yeah that's what I want to do it mm. and my yeah from there uh, I trained for with this guy for like maybe six months and one day I went to another judo class I'm just get the story longer right and uh, and I, I saw this guy as a brown belt in the, in the judo class, right? It was, but this day was just a just rolling, just a free spar, rolling free spar, uh, jiu-jitsu, uh, more, more ground spar, no new waza, right? Yeah. No take downs off like this. And I asked the guy, hey, are you, are you a brown belt in a, in a judo? Where are you training here? No, no, I'm brown belt in jiu-jitsu. Oh, my gosh, I said, I'm a brown belt in jiu-jitsu, really? I said, yeah, can I roll with you? Right? And I rolled with the guy, the guy just... Oh my, it beat the crap out of me. So easy, right? How new were you at that point? I was pretty new. Okay, right? okay. Uh, I would say like, a, uh, I would say a, a good blue belt, but I was a white belt still. Okay. But for the amount of training I have in judo, just putting the, the ground game in judo, mm -hmm. and the six months I spent with my uh, friend of mine training, I was a, a decent, I would say a decent a blue belt. Not nowadays, no, but for to, back, back then, then, right? Yeah, yeah. And it just ran through me like nothing, right? I said, man, I cannot believe this. <laughs> and I, I I was ro already rolling for the black belt in judo, doing well. I said, man, where we come from? No, this is amazing what we did with me. And I have a, a very funny story because the same day that I, I went there, this guy that I trained, was trained jiu-jitsu in the same place of, of me. The guy was a bully, right? And he was a blue belt already. And he, this uh, this guy asked, hey, you, you train all, I think it was a Wednesday afternoon at this at judo place. Uh, how, how does that work? I knew that he was just try to get there, try to get the info from me, uh -huh. see if he can go get there and uh, beat the, the, the guys. That I said. Look, uh, very friendly atmosphere. Those guys, it was awesome. Most for judo, or like a, a brand new white belt. And, but they're good people, right? The instructor was really nice guy too. They allowed us to, to get there and roll. And said, hey, yeah, can I go with you? I said, yeah. I was kind of upset because I knew he wouldn't get there to try bully those guys, right? And I didn't have a time to tell the instructor. And I, we went, when he got there, he was waiting for me. But we were never close, right? He was probably waiting for me. We got there together. I'm saying he's a bully because he didn't roll with, uh, as a me, he did, this other guy that was a monster too, the star of jiu-jitsu with me, he never rolled with us. Every time they were getting in the class, he asked you to, to roll with the guys that he couldn't handle, right? <laughs> but he never roll with, and me, this guy, always roll together. That would be how I'd play the game. <laughs> yeah. And and I'd be like, let me go against those two guys all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but and not I, those other two guys. Yeah, <laughs> never, never. And, uh, but uh, anyways, we, we got there, and I introduced myself to the brown belt, and I got my butt kick, right? <laughs> and uh, he walked to this brown belt, super cocky, okay, when I roll, because he thought, this guy is a brown belt in, in, in judo, right? And uh, I can see for the face of that guy, because I talked with the brown belt after, right? He turned to be my 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 instructor that gave all my my belts. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's how I met him, right? Okay. And um, he just ran through him so, and I was look, just looking at the corner of my eyes, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I was just, let's say, what it was six minutes, three minutes, they stopped because the, the, the guy cut his, uh, the brown belt cut his, uh, uh, cut his foot, mm. right? It's, it's sliding the edge as a screw that it's, Cut Ooh. his foot, they, mm. and they stopped to to just to cover up, clean the mats and everything. And but I, I told the guy, "Hey, where you come from? Right? What are you doing here?" He said, no, I'm 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 from uh, originally from here, but I moved to to Rio to to college, but I'm, I came back here because I want to do I want to study to be a federal police, which is a, a big that's the biggest police in Brazil, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, in, I'm in school now. Say, hey, why why don't take part part time jobs? Start teaching jiu jitsu, right? And uh. He said, "No, uh, I don't. I don't want to. I want to turn my focus on this, right? I love jujitsu, but uh, maybe just for a couple times a week. Why? Why not, right? And and the very next day, or maybe a few days after, and he he, I found out that he would have come to another school uh, gym that have a mat that I, just to train the guys there was from from judo to. And I got to. We were trained to get at this blue belt uh, gym." With this uh, a friend of mine, I, I told him about it. Mm -hmm. He said, "Hey, hey, you guys know I'm here just to to help you guys, but I'm not I'm, I'm not pretend to make my living teaching jujitsu. If, if you guys want to go, I see this guy, this brown belt. Why do not go there? Like thirty guys show up there, yeah. right? And when you show up there, he, he run the class and then he 
beat half the class, right? Nice and gentle. Right? Uh -huh. His nickname is Tank. <laughs> you can imagine how gentle he is, right? <laughs> and, and from there, the, the, the owner of the gym came, hey, you're going to have to start teaching at least uh, three times a week. Said, yeah. No, but I can't. I said, look, I have 30 guys here ready to sign up, right? You broke. <laughs> right? You don't have money, right? You live with your parents now. He's old, he was 22, 23 years old. Friend. You just, uh, you, I think you can put uh, those uh, both things together. Uh, it's, it's still study and uh, yeah. uh, run for, uh, uh, some classes, right? And that's it. He started teaching mm. and uh, make a muscle too, make some uh, decent money. Right. He forgot about uh, uh, federal police and uh, <laughs> now, yeah, he's a Jew to struggle since, since then. Right. Yeah. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right. Share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right. Peace.